Everything you want, you can have instantaneously. Everything you want, instant gratification. Except job satisfaction and strength of relationships, there ain't no app for that. They are slow, meandering, uncomfortable, messy processes. And so I keep meeting these wonderful, fantastic, idealistic, hardworking, smart kids. They've just graduated school. They're in their entry level job. And I sit down with them and I go, how's it going? They go, I think I'm gonna quit. I'm like, why? They're like, I'm not making an impact. I'm like, you've been here eight months. <laughs> you know? It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact that they wanna have in the world, which is the summit. What they don't see is the mountain. I don't care if you go up the mountain quickly or slowly, but there's still a mountain. And so what this young generation needs to learn is patience. That some things that really, really matter, like love, or job fulfillment, joy, love of life, self-confidence, a skill set, any of these things, all of these things take time. Sometimes you can expedite pieces of it, but the overall journey is arduous and long and difficult. And if you don't ask for help and learn that skill set, you will fall off the mountain or you will, the worst case scenario, the worst case scenario, and we're already seeing it, the worst case scenario is we're seeing an increase in suicide rates, we're seeing an increase in this generation, we're seeing an increase in accidental deaths due to drug overdoses, we're seeing more and more kids drop out of school or take leaves of absence due to depression, unheard of. These are all, this is, this is really bad. The best case scenario, the best, those are all bad cases, right? The best case scenario is you'll have an entire population growing up and going through life and just never really finding joy. They'll never really find deep, deep fulfillment in work or in life. They'll just, just waft through life and it'll be just, it's fine. How, how, how's your job? It's fine, it's the same as yesterday. How's your relationship? It's fine. Like that's, that's the best case scenario which leads me to the, the fourth point, which is environment. Which is we're taking this amazing group of young, fantastic kids who are just dealt a bad hand. It's no fault of their own. And we put them in corporate environments that care more about the numbers than they do about the kids. They care more about the short-term gains than the long-term life of this young human being. We care more about the year than the lifetime. Right? And so we are putting them in corporate environments that aren't helping them build their confidence, that aren't helping them learn the skills of cooperation, that aren't helping them overcome the challenges of a digital world and finding more balance, that isn't helping them overcome the need to have instant gratification and teach them the joys and impact and the fulfillment you get from working hard over on something for a long time that cannot be done in a month or even in a year. And so we're thrusting to them, them in corporate environments and the worst part about it is they think it's them. They blame themselves. They, can, they think it's them who can't deal. And so it makes it all worse. It's not, I'm here to tell them, it's not them. It's the corporations, it's the corporate environments, it's the total lack of good leadership in our world today that is making them feel the way they do.